Here's the exact ChatGPT framework that I teach companies when I give workshops. If you use this framework, then immediately your results are going to improve. I've been flown around the world to teach this framework to companies, including one $17 billion valuation company, which was quite a surprise. Basically, the framework that I teach is called the Risen Framework, R-I-S-E-N. If you want to go deeper, there's a playlist on this TikTok channel, which goes through it step by step by step. But right now, I want to give you an overview. The idea behind having a prompt in framework is it allows you to every time give very clear instructions to an AI like ChatGPT. And if you give clear communications and clear instructions, you're going to get better results. So the first step in the Risen framework is role. Basically, at the beginning of any prompt, you want to give a role declaration. For example, act as a copywriter, act as a CEO of a tech company, act as a data analyst. The thing about ChatGPT is that it can act as any role. So what we need to do is give it a limitation. And once it's given that limitation, it's going to start to perform actions much better within that specific requirement. Second in the Risen framework is instructions, I. We next give the basic instructions, what we actually want. It's very important to be clear here. Do not couch your language with would you, could you, can you, and there's no need to be overly polite. Doing so is just going to muddy the water of your communication and confuse ChatGPT. So just give a single declarative sentence saying exactly what you want ChatGPT to do. Next in the framework is steps. With steps, we want to build on the instructions we've just given by giving ChatGPT a series of numbered steps. Just imagine you're talking to a very intelligent person who is going to do a task for you, but they don't necessarily know the context. If you were talking to a staff member, you wouldn't just say write an annual report. You'd give them a series of steps telling them how to do it. We need to do exactly the same thing with AI. And the more detailed the steps you give it, the better result you're going to get. The fourth element of the Risen framework is E for end goal. This is a mistake I see time and time again. People will put something into ChatGPT and then be annoyed when the result isn't good enough. But the problem is they haven't actually at any point told ChatGPT what they wanted. What were their expectations? What was the end goal? So in this part of the framework, we are going to state categorically what it is we want from ChatGPT so that ChatGPT knows what to aim for. If we want it in a table, tell it you want it in a table. If you want a piece of writing that's going to be persuasive to Fortune 500 CEOs, then you have to tell ChatGPT this. Basically, don't be surprised if ChatGPT gives you something you want if you haven't told it what you want. The final step of the Risen framework is N for narrowing. So what I recommend is you put everything through R-I-S-E-N and then you get the result from ChatGPT. And then you're going to add narrowing steps based on the output. This is where you add constraints like the type of style or tone of voice you want to use. And we use this to fine tune the result that we get from ChatGPT. Now, one question that people always ask is, well, why am I going through all of these steps? I could have just written the blog article or the email or whatever it is by now. The point of using a framework like this is that you have a reusable prompt that you can use again and again in your business. This is a much more sophisticated way than just doing ad hoc chat GPT, and it can be shared with your team and it becomes a business asset. Make sure you're following if you want more tips like this on ChatGPT.